Hey guys, Force Free Straight here. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and setting up this Samsung Crystal UHD CU700D series, a 50 inch Samsung TV. As you can see, this one here again comes with a couple of features here. We're going to test it out and see how it looks. So it has pure color, crystal processor, 4K HDR, and smart hub. And as you can see here, a bunch of stuff that you can work with Alexa, Apple AirPlay, and Google as well. So and then features as well. So this one around $359 is the regular price that you can get. It's a 50 inch one. There's also a 55 inch one. So we'll see how this looks. As you can see here, the box again, pretty slim box here, not too heavy. And definitely carry it. You can fit it in a small sedan if you're thinking of buying it. So let's go ahead and box this. So I took the tape off here and then it has label for front. So you can also see that up here. So that'll give you an idea how to open it up and it tells you how to also um, take it. So one and then step two as well. So go ahead and take that out. Box. So here is the hardware like the cable and delete the remote so that's that and then the stand here and then this stand as well for the tv and then the tv itself so take it out of the box i'll need two hands so to use both of my hands to take it out so in the box right now here i took the styrofoam and then i'll pull it out okay, so i took it out of the box here just lay it on the floor just so i can um take it off and put the stand on Alrighty, guys so also in this package i don't know if you've seen there's a unpackaged and installation guide as well so this one is like taped on so comes with the one that with the remote so it's a little bit easier if you're going to read through this instruction a picture guide as well on how to set it up so here this is basically what we're going to be doing to show you the setup process which again should be pretty simple so here it shows you if you're going to be mounting it it definitely helps if you have two people to kind of hold it but there's no actual mount piece as well for the wall you know the cable the holder cable the batteries and the remote and then the manual so that's all you get with it so so there's a part to lay it flip side and then you could put the the bottom stands on so we're gonna put the bottom stand on but i have it upward so i'll show you how that's the done. legs will also have a letter so r for right and then the other one l for the left so you can know which one to put and where and the TV also has R, as you can see, for the right one. So you match it up with the right one. So it goes in this way. Makes sense from the bottom view. And it just clips on. You just push it in and it locks. There's no other tool or anything that you need it just locks in and then we'll do and then on the left same thing we'll want to point these outwards like this and then push it in and it just it's tight so you don't have to do anything and that's it for the legs. Also, something about that I like that I had other TVs that had legs that are really flimsy these are really sturdy legs there's a grip as well here, so non-slip, you'll see here right as well. So pretty sturdy, as you can see here. Um, thicker as well, the plastic. It's a plastic one, but um, that's what it looks like. So I put the TV on the stand here, so it's on a stand. But basically this stand, you'll notice one thing. For the 50 inch, it barely fits. Um, this thing so make sure you have the tv stand that's the right also side. a quick thing is this thing this plastic cover 
it says don't remove until the product is assembled so this should be the very last thing so film to protect the screen from getting scratches so i'm gonna finally take it off here so stick it off Also, if you're interested in the energy guide, so they can see this roughly costs fifteen dollars on yearly energy costs. So, some quick fact for you guys interested in this TV. All right, time to set up the power cord, which I need to do, and then the remote as well. So let me take those out. Here's the power cable, pretty slim and skinny power cord. I'm gonna take that off and show you how to put that on. So the power cord sits on the back here, on your right side. You'll see here where all the outlets or all the plugs are, it's gonna go right in there. So take your take your cable and just put it in there. So the cable just gets in there and you just slip it in. So it's facing like downwards. You do have to say the cable does look a little short, but when you do push it in, make sure you give a nice push and it should get in there. You just need a gentle push. Cable, we're gonna plug it in and then set up the remote. The power adapter is plugged in, that's how it looks like. Getting back to the remote, they do include these triple, two triple A batteries and the remote, so we'll get that installed. The remote here, as you can see, is very slim and skinny, it's not a bulky one, so. And then it has that as well. So for the battery, you just want to pull this thing downward, let me see if I can get it with one hand. Alrighty, so you pull it down, put it battery in, doing it all with one hand, that's how easy it is. And then go ahead and slide it in again. This step I'll probably need two hands. So the remote is in. They also give you the HDMI cable here I haven't used and then the cable and organizer we haven't used. But the one thing cool about this remote is as you can see here, they have Netflix, Disney Plus and Prime Video, like a quick button for that and then Samsung TV Plus as well. So there's that. Alrighty, time to turn it on. So just press that power button. Already, so it's powering on smart TV as you can see. Alrighty, so it's just simple options. How would you like to get started? Choose one to use the accessibility function, simply press and hold the volume button. So you can either use the smartphone, which is a quick and easy setup, or the remote, however you like to use. Two simple options. How would you like to get started? So Choose I'm gonna one. try to use, to use the, the smart function, press phone one, which is easy button. and quick. You could also do the remote. Let's see how it looks. Hello. Discover great new possibilities. Two simple options. How would you? So when you do a smart um, phone, you get a QR code, which you can um, see and then scan it with your phone. So go ahead, open up the camera app on your phone that you have. So once you do that, basically it will take you to an app called Smart Things. So you wanna go ahead and download that on your iPhone or Android. So here's what the app looks like once you download and open it up. You can see you can control things. I would act, give it a Bluetooth access just for the initial setup and then start. And then you can see the devices or sign in here. So you can see devices, you can add a device. And basically you probably need to create a Samsung account. So go ahead and do that. So while you're setting it up, if you discover on the local network, it should pop up the devices being found with the Bluetooth on. So all you'll do is hit setup. And before you can do it, you still need a Samsung account basically. So you can hit next. 
and just create that Samsung account. So I'm gonna go ahead and create one. So after you sign in or create an account for, um, for Samsung, you should see something like this. Basically, you'll wanna give access and then uh, enter the PIN. As you can see, there's a PIN number to pair your device. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in the PIN here. Of course, yours is gonna be different because each TV is a different PIN. So you're gonna to wanna to enter that to begin the pairing. And as you can see, it's setting up with smart things. And then you wanna go ahead and select your network here so you can connect to the internet here. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the network. Alrighty, so after you go ahead and set up through the app, which for the most part is self-explanatory, it's just going through your account, hitting like agree and stuff, you'll get to the TV here and you'll be ready to go. And then you can choose the app, as you can see here, that you'd like to add on top of the ones on your home screen. So you can see there's Netflix, uh, Prime, Hulu, Apple TV, Disney Plus, YouTube, and a couple other, and then there's ones up top as well. So you can go ahead and do that and save it. So that's pretty much it. We're gonna probably try to do some tests on it, uh, but this should be it for the most part.